driven we are going to see regarding the factors modifying the drug actions so if i will see uh, if i will try to divide the factors which are modifying the drug action i will make these two in the two groups first the factor which is related to the patients and other one will be the factors which is related to the drug so factors which is related to the patients are like body size now body size if i will see uh, then it will include the body weight and uh, body surface area so like that if you want to calculate then the calculation of the dose will be according to the body weight as the body weight will increase or as the body surface area will increase the amount of drug required to give the action should also increase right so with that the dose of the drug will change so in the elderly patients and in uh, Uh, child, the dose is really little, uh, little lesser than that of the adult people, because the surface area of the body is less. The volume where the drug is going to distribute is less. Now, second is like age, or you can see uh, age. So, uh, if you see the age, the as the child is le- small, the same way it will affect the body surface area or body weight or the metabolic activities. Everything will be. slower than that of the adult in the same way in geriatric patients the metabolic activities or you can say body surface area everything will be smaller so with the with that system it's very difficult to adjust with the dose which i am giving to the adult if i will give the adult dose to those people they will either not be able to maintain the metabolism or they will not be able to eliminate those things so is will affect actually the body surf, uh, the dosing system of the uh what do you say dosing system of uh, a drug either should be uh, always it should be reduced only in case of child and geriatric patients then after that is gender in case of gender it also this is like that uh, morphine and all those things have the excitability more in case of females than that of the males like beta blockers and all have more side effects uh, uh, regarding the sexual activities and sexual functionality in the male as compared to the female aspirin has more adverse effects in case of uh, females as compared to the male so there are the few drugs which will really affect according to the gene- gender because there are uh, our metabolic activities and our emission process and the receptors which are actively part uh, active in the body is little bit different in case of gender uh, in case of male and females which will affect the drug action now if you we'll go to the species and ratios with different species uh, and races the activity of the drug will also get affected like some drugs may be very effective in the white while the some drug may be very effective in the black diet and uh, environment also is a one factor in which we can see that how, what patient is eating or what patient's lifestyle is telling and how patient is maintaining his lifestyle and dietary uh, balance that will also affect the drug action for example you might have observed that uh, doctor might be telling uh, doctor might be telling to the patient uh, you might have observed that take this drug after the meal take this drug before the meal that really uh, that actually is to maintain the absorption capability of the drug how much drug will be get absorbed either it should be uh, either drug will get absorbed properly before the food or after the food then uh, route of administration is also one of the very much uh, what you say uh, what is a crucial factor so a very important factor for the drug action by which a drug has been taken if it is oral the action will be slower than that of the parenteral or an or any other mean like intramuscular and all those things and even uh, the toxicity will be uh, chances of getting toxicity will be high in case of uh, parenteral mean as compared to the oral and all route of administration will also affect uh, in the absorption process which will uh, ultimately affect the drug action later 
then psychological and emotional factor also if patient is getting more emotional or psychologically disturbed the drug action will be get uh, will, will become slow because of the hormonal imbalance in the body which will lead to the imbalance in the enzymes and ultimately will le uh, lead to the uh, disturbance in the uh, in, in uh, drug action and drug metabolism process in case of imbalance in the protein it will also lead to the disturbance in the maintaining the distribution of the drug among the whole body about of psychological uh, factors the genetic factor also if uh, there is any inactivity of the sick a protein because of the genetic factor obviously those drugs which who need cyp cyp450 or some other enzymes will not act properly into the body about of that if patient has any pathological act, uh, factor also or pathological problems that also has some uh, has effect because in pathological conditions there may be alteration in the protein or enzyme or hormonal formations which will ultimately alter the drug actions a uh, drug action with the body and uh, metabolic uh, obviously the metabolic disturbance have the direct effect on the drug action of the uh, drug action on the body so like this we can see that uh, patient related factors so uh, i can just uh, list it up it may be it will may be a body size it may be age it may be a gender it may be a species and race it may be a diet and environment it may be a route of administration it may be a psychological or uh, or you can say emotional factors it may be a genetic factor or it may be pathological factors or it may be a metabolic disturbance apart of that if we go for the drug related factors so if i see the drug related factors in that we can see that accumulation of the drug is also one very big factor as we have discussed in our previous lectures that there is a compartment system in our body if drug is moving from one compartment to other compartment there should be a difference between the, the uh, there should be a difference between the uh, concentration of the drug between these two compartments if second has higher then the drug will not flow from one to two so accumulation of drug into the systemic circulation will also lead to the the uh, inactivity or you can say that uh, alteration in the drug action a part of this accumulation the presence of drugs and chemicals into the body will also affect the drug action because if already some drug is there that means that osmotic ingredient of the blood is little bit higher than that of the uh, lumen so drug action may, may get hindered through the uh, passive, trans passive transport uh, on the other side the drug tolerance also has a very important role on the drug action how much body is tolerating that drug how much body uh, how much dose of that drug body can accumulate or you can say body can uh, body is ready to use the drug or you can say how much body is tolerating the drug uh, that also has a very good uh, factor which will affect the drug action a part of tolerance the dependency of the uh, patient on the drug if patient is highly dependent on some drug the action of the drug will come will be seen at the higher concentration or you can see a dependency can also be taken as the addiction, uh, addiction of the drug means a patient has got dependent for example if you take insulin for a long time for the type 2 diabetes however it is not suggested for the type 2 diabetes initial therapy insulin but if patient is going for that slowly the body will stop producing the insulin and patient will get dependent on the uh, supplied insulin so uh, dependency will lead to the uh, means i will say compulsory administration of the drug apart of this dependency uh, the drug resistance is one more thing that is uh, highly uh, uh, what you say one real point on the drug action side if the patient is resistant to one drug obviously the patient cannot react or patient cannot get benefited by that drug means there, it needs some different drug to be given so resistance is the greatest challenge nowadays in case of antibiotic sector for the action of the antibiotic in mm, a human being so these are the points of the drug related factors i will just uh, list it uh, down accumulation then presence of other drugs and chemicals the drug tolerance then drug dependence and drug resistance are the five factors which will affect the drug action